Welcome to an overview of Microsoft PhotoStory. PhotoStory is a digital storytelling software. It's free and easy to use. Digital storytelling has become popular, a popular pedagogical tool. As opposed to making videos, the key with digital storytelling is that it's easy. The, techni the technical procedures do not get in the way of the learning. If you have Windows XP, you can get PhotoStory for free. Just go to the Microsoft website type in photo story two words you'll find it on the list and download it to your computer it's a small program that will install easily photo story helps you create digital stories with existing images images you get from your camera or the web. It is a wizard based program meaning that it moves you through the creation of a digital story step by step. This video gives you an overview of the steps but please you need to experiment and try different things. First after you start a new story you'll select the images that you want to include. You can do this at one at a time or many at a time by holding down the control key. You could also go back and add or delete images. Once they appear in your timeline after you've added them, you can rearrange and edit them. When you're done arranging and edit the, editing them, you can hit the next button. You can always go back and do more editing and rearranging. Editing lets you crop, change the color, or rotate a picture. When you hit the next button on this screen, you can add and edit text to any of the images. You can add credits or captions, and then you can format the text, putting on, changing the colors or putting it on top, in the middle, or below the text below the picture. And the next screen allows you to add narration. You can add audio. You'll need a microphone available at Staples for about $8 if you don't have one. You can type in your text in a box to read from, like I'm doing right now, and then record by hitting the red button. On a screen where you add the audio, you could also add motion, such as panning and zooming, by customizing the motion. For example, on the picture on the screen, I set the motion to begin with a close-up and then zoom out on the whole image. You'll notice that effect in some of these images right now. Finally, you could add background music. This music can come from your own computer or you can create music with Photo Story. I would recommend creating with a Photo Story. There are some fun, easy, and flexible choices. Hit create music and you have a variety of combinations to choose from. Finally, you will create your movie. This will take your images, text, and music and encode them into one video file. Please rename it to something you'll remember and put it in some place where you remember. The default is to call it Photo Story 1 and put it in My Videos. But if you do that repeatedly, you'll keep overriding your previous photo story and you might not be able to find it in my documents, my videos. So remember to change those defaults. Also remember to save your photo story project. This is different from saving and creating a movie. The project is the collection and arrangement of your media. If you want to go back and edit your video, it is easier to have it saved on your project. Then you can easily change the narration and text and arrangement. So please save project as well as saving your movie. Well, look at this video, download Photo Story, look at the video again, but the key is to experiment and have some fun with it. It's a very, very fun, interesting program with a lot of applications for teachers and students.